Mucus production is a natural and essential part of the body's defense mechanism, helping to trap and eliminate pathogens and particles from the respiratory tract. However, excessive mucus production can be a symptom of various diseases, indicating the presence of underlying health issues, which is what we're going to discuss in this video. So, keep watching to learn more about the most common conditions known for causing an increase in mucus production. This is crucial for early diagnosis and effective management so that you can alleviate symptoms and improve the quality of your life. Number 1. Common Cold The common cold is a viral infection primarily affecting the nose and throat. It is usually harmless and caused by the rhinovirus, among other viruses. Symptoms can cause a runny or stuffy nose, sore throat, coughing, sneezing, headaches, and body aches. Fever is rare in adults but more common in children. There is no cure for the common cold, but symptoms can be treated to provide relief. The illness typically resolves on its own within 7 to 10 days. It's highly contagious and spreads through droplets in the air when someone who is sick coughs, sneezes, or talks. Number 2. Influenza Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is a viral infection that attacks the respiratory system, including the nose, throat, and lungs. Unlike the common cold, the flu can lead to severe illness and life-threatening complications, especially in the elderly, young children, and those with underlying health conditions. Symptoms are similar to the common cold, but are generally more severe and include fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, congestion, runny nose, headaches, and fatigue. The best protection against influenza is annual vaccination. Antiviral drugs may be used to treat the flu, reducing the severity and duration of symptoms if taken early in the course of the illness. Number 3. Bronchitis Bronchitis is an inflammation of the lining of the bronchial tubes, which carry air to and from the lungs. There are two main types, acute and chronic. Acute bronchitis, often developing from a cold or other respiratory infection, is very common and is characterized by coughing with mucus, fatigue, slight fever, and chest discomfort. Chronic bronchitis, a more serious condition, is a type of COPD and is characterized by a persistent cough that produces mucus for at least three months in two consecutive years. Smoking is the primary cause of chronic bronchitis, though. Air pollution and dust or toxic gases in the environment or workplace can also contribute. Number 4. Bronchiectasis Bronchiectasis is a chronic condition where the walls of the bronchi are thickened from inflammation and infection, leading to abnormal widening of the airways. This dilution of the airways causes a buildup of mucus that can make the lungs more vulnerable to infection. Symptoms include chronic coughing up of large amounts of mucus, shortness of breath, chest pain, and frequent infection in the lungs. The condition can be caused by an underlying health problem that injures the airway walls or impedes mucus clearance, such as cystic fibrosis, immune system disorders, or severe infections like tuberculosis. Treatment focuses on managing symptoms and might include antibiotics, bronchodilators, and physical therapy to clear the lungs. Number 5. Cystic Fibrosis Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that affects the lungs and other organs. It is characterized by the production of thick, sticky mucus that can clog the airways and trap bacteria, leading to infections, inflammation, and respiratory failure. Cystic fibrosis also affects the pancreas, liver, kidneys, and intestine, causing symptoms like poor growth, frequent respiratory infections, coughing with mucus, and difficulty breathing. It's caused by mutations in the CFTR gene, affecting the protein that regulates salt and water movement in and out of cells, leading to the production of thick mucus. There is no cure for cystic fibrosis, but treatment can ease symptoms, reduce complications, and improve quality of life. These treatments may include chest physical therapy, exercise, nutritional support, medications to thin mucus, and antibiotics to treat lung infections. Number 6. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease COPD is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. Symptoms include breathing difficulty, cough, mucus production, and wheezing. It is typically caused by long-term exposure to irritating gases or particulate matter, most often from cigarette smoke. People with COPD are at increased risk for developing heart disease, lung cancer, and a variety of other conditions. COPD is characterized by two main conditions, emphysema and chronic bronchitis. 
Emphysema is where the alveoli, the ends of the smallest air passages of the lungs, are destroyed as a result of damaging exposure to smoke and other irritants. And as previously mentioned, chronic bronchitis is characterized by a long-term cough with mucus. There is no cure for COPD, but treatment can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Number 7. Asthma Asthma is a chronic condition that affects the airways in the lungs, causing them to become inflamed and narrow, leading to breathing difficulties. Symptoms include wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and coughing, particularly at night or early in the morning. Asthma can affect individuals of all ages but often starts in childhood. The exact cause is unknown, but it is thought to be a combination of genetic and environmental factors, with triggers including allergens, respiratory infections, physical activity, cold air, and stress. Management involves avoiding known triggers and taking medications to reduce inflammation and open airways, which may include inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators. Number 8. Sinusitis Sinusitis, also known as a sinus infection, is the inflammation of the sinuses, leading to symptoms such as a stuffy or runny nose, facial pain or pressure, headache, fever, fatigue, and cough can be caused by viral, bacterial, or fungal infections, allergies, or any factor that impedes the sinuses from draining properly, including nasal polyps or a deviated septum. Sinusitis can be acute, lasting up to 4 weeks, subacute, lasting 4 to 12 weeks, chronic, lasting more than 12 weeks, or recurrent with several attacks within a year. Treatment depends on the cause and duration of the symptoms and may include nasal decongestants, saline nasal washes, corticosteroids, antibiotics for bacterial infections, or surgery for chronic or severe cases. <laughs> Number 9. Allergic Rhinitis Allergic rhinitis is an inflammation of the nasal passages usually caused by an allergic reaction to pollen, dust mites, pet dander, or mold. Commonly referred to as hay fever, symptoms include a runny or stuffy nose, sneezing, itching of the nose, and watery or itchy eyes. These symptoms result from the body's immune system overreacting to the allergens in the environment, leading to the release of histamine and other chemicals that cause the nasal passages to swell and produce mucus. Management of allergic rhinitis includes avoiding known allergens, using antihistamines to reduce symptoms, nasal corticosteroids to reduce inflammation, and in some cases, immunotherapy to desensitize the body to specific allergens. Number 10. Pneumonia Pneumonia is an infection that inflames the air sacs in one or both lungs, which may fill with fluid, causing cough with phlegm or pus, fever, chills, and difficulty breathing. A variety of organisms can cause pneumonia, including bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The conditions can range in seriousness from mild to life-threatening, and is most serious for infants and young children, people older than 65, and people with health problems or weakened immune systems. Symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Treatment depends on the type and severity of pneumonia and may include antibiotics for bacterial pneumonia, antiviral medications for viral pneumonia, and antifungal medications for fungal pneumonia. Supportive treatments may also include over-the-counter fever reducers, cough medicine, and rest. But, as previously mentioned, understanding the various conditions that lead to excessive mucus production is essential for early diagnosis and effective management. From the common cold to chronic diseases like cystic fibrosis and COPD, each condition presents unique challenges and requires tailored treatments. Recognizing the symptoms and knowing when to seek medical help can significantly improve your quality of life. By staying informed and proactive, you can better manage these health issues, alleviate symptoms, and ensure a healthier respiratory system. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. There should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.